Capricorns, welcome to your heart spread for November 2021. The year that will... Why do I got the feeling living infamy one day? <laughs> uh, we'll see. Maybe nobody will remember it, you know? Eh. So, this reads the one you're thinking of, the one that's on your mind. You can say the one that's in your heart. Uh, not necessarily the one you're with. Depends on how that goes. That's up to you. Uh, they definitely don't have to be with you. They, they might not even be uh, um, in the 3D here with us. Uh, it's going to pick up who's on your heart. So let's look at you coming out of the shoot. Moon energy here, Capricorns. Uh, this is your energy in and around love and relationships. I kind of try to get a baseline. Um, here and kind of look at you uh, separate from this person you're thinking of. Um, so kind of in a dreamy state, uh, thinking about love. Um, here because this is your energy in and around love and relationships. Um, kind of a very Neptunian. It can be associated with Pisces. Uh, if you know your chart at all as an astrologer. Um, Look for significant Neptune placements that could be signaling um, in, in your personal chart. Like I have Neptune in the, okay, Neptune went in my seventh house, right? Pisces now. Uh, to the day, 25-year marriage, I doubt. And it's ever since it's been like this journey for this something, you know. I think I'm there now, it, like it's been a journey. Um, when you kind of dreamy and you know something's up and you're, feeling it but you just, just can't really put your finger on it you know it's not something you really get your uh, hands around get a hold of you know but it feels really good I think that's a lot of the pull of uh, Pisces energy and Neptune Neptune Venus it's that uh, always that feeling of uh, the, the love that you could have uh, Capricorn now your person where are they at wow coming in with the Sun could be a Leo could be significant fifth house energy, but where they're at in and around relationships, they're uh, they're on a big glow up. They're uh, feeling really good about themselves, um, probably healthy. Um, it kind of indicates to me uh, they're probably physically attractive. Um, you and I kind of see now the moon. Now you know you got the, the moon and the sun. That doesn't necessarily mean they're masculine, but you know. Um, you're really, uh, I think, find them fetching, you know. First house, seventh house. So imagine uh, if someone's son is in your seventh house, let's say their son's on your ascendant, I mean on your descendant exactly or near, okay? They're going to look like everything you ever wanted in love. So that might be kind of how they look like to you, Capricorn. And you're just kind of like, how can you say? It's like you're under a spell. You kind of are. Yeah, that's how it works. Wow. Cross watcher, were there any doubts about the sincerity of Capricorns, which in general is married one twenty five years? They are sincere and honest folk by and large. All in. I mean, this is pretty significant. You know, I read this as a new energy, new relationship. Um, that's pretty solid, Ace of Pentacles. And I like it because it's like, kind of comes with boundaries. And it's like, I'm all in, you know? And it implies with the Ace of Pentacles that you've looked, Capricorn, you've looked at the nuts and the bolts and you've crossed the uh, T's and dotted the I's. And you're, when you're Ace of Pentacles, you're all in. It's not just like a, uh, you know, Ace of Wands, which like, I wanna have sex, you know? Or even, you know, even the Ace of Cups, you know? I think Ace it could just be like, well, it feels really meaningful to me. But an Ace of Pentacles, uh, you're ready to throw down with something serious right there. Uh, now, let's see. Five of Pentacles. Wow, now this is uh, their energy towards you, Capricorn. Um, and it's very strange to go from the Sun to the Five of Pentacles. I, I, I don't want to go like low vibe here, but say like it's they feel like called out. Called out comes to mind. Uh, like you called them out 
and I'm not saying you made them feel inadequate, but the way they're feeling towards you is inadequate. So it could be the very fact that you have this Ace of Pentacles and you're coming at them with this Ace of Pentacles. And maybe for some reason they feel like they can't, they don't, can't really give you anything right now. I mean, they could be in a marriage, uh, I don't know, a situation. Um, but this is the feeling that they have towards you. And it's a, the feeling of lack mentality, of poverty, of not having enough. So it's like them saying to you, I don't feel like I have enough. Pinnacles is like not necessarily enough love to give you, um, you know. Like the nuts and bolts are not there. Now, this is your advice. Knight of Swords coming under the Ace of Pentacles. Well, it's kind of like back it up. This is the advice from Spirit here towards your person now, Capricorn. Um, and, you know, this is the coming at you, Knight. I say, it's coming at you. So, thoughts and communication. You're being advised to be very direct. And, you know, this comes in contrast to the moon because this, like with this Knight of Swords, you're being asked whatever you weren't sure about or what felt fuzzy. You know, now it's time. This is where your brain kicks in, your mind. Uh, good old Capricorn. Skepticism. This is skepticism, guys. I'm going to tell you. Um, this is where you be advised by spirit towards them. And I think, too, it's like setting boundaries in, um, with them, you know. Um, ultimatums, boundaries, and their advice from spirit. Now they've got the five of pinnacles over the five of cups. So, you know, they really are putting on a sunny face with the sun energy here. But when it gets right down to it, they're dealing with a lot of grief. They may have even lost someone to death. I, r I rarely say that. I've never said that. But, yeah, it's hard for that. Maybe with what your moon energy is, it's like on the surface of it, it looks good. But it's just, it, I'm not saying they're really trying to hide anything. It's just when you get into the nuts and bolts of it, um, your person here is dealing uh, with a, a ton of grief uh, here and um, I don't know how you deal with that and with a relationship this is talking about doing it very directly um, a little mercenary you know um, um, it's a little protective to me I got a feeling now this is interesting to me this is the advice for the relationship as a whole here, the very crux of the heart spread. So you're thinking about this person for a reason. Um, you know, it just came to my mind. This could be uh, for someone out there. This is not a lover. This is a brother or a sister or family member. And you kind of don't know what to do. But the King of Pentacles is coming between this Knight of Swords and the Five of Cups, and that's their energy towards you. So they're just feeling grief, you know. I mean, really, truly not feeling good enough. i got to clarify this King of Pentacles, too. Oh, my God, with the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords. And this is your advice towards them in the relationship. And this is the advice of, for the relationship as a whole. Whew. Like you guys have a relationship here. I mean, you don't have the king and queen and the advice for the relationship as a whole. This is like, consider the fact that, and you would be the sword energy here, Capricorn, because here you are, the knight of swords, and now the queen, and... Um, this is the advice. It's like, uh, I think for your person, it might help you too coming in with this moon energy a little bit emotionally, but to create a solid foundation here, that's what this is about. Your king and queen, to have like a castle. Now, let me see what the outcome is because now I'm a, I am very curious. Uh, page of Cups. 
other than the uh, Five of Cups outcome, um, you're going to need a really strong foundation so that you can basically start a relationship. That's what this is. Um, this could imply some time down here to King Queen um, with your Knight of Swords. Uh, I think like if you're going to have a relationship and you, Capricorn, sort of have to shake yourself out of whatever fogginess might be to this Neptunian thing and look at this relationship very realistically and because and then that's what the Knight of Swords is that's your advice of spirit look at it very realistically and then take very solid and realistic actions and I noticed that the Page of Cups too and the outcome is looking right back at your Ace of Cups and it's like this person after by giving them everything you can and working with them and getting yourselves into a solid position, um, they are only then finally able to, and they will, uh, in have an emotional, uh, strong attachment to you, uh, maybe that you're looking for here. Like, they're going to meet your Ace of Pentacles. It's like right now, it's like they, they just can't. Like, if, if they could, you could be their uh, forever mate and everything. Um, and they can't, but it looks like they will be able to. But it's going to require um, this, you know, just uh, maintaining the castle and giving them a solid place here to uh, land. Uh, and uh, I think you might be willing to uh, kind of um, weather um, this and get to that point. When, when this Page of Cups does say they love you, uh, this will be with the, with a kind of a sweetness and sincerity um, somehow that you might could say is worth waiting for. Put it that way. Thank you, Capricorns.